What's up, everybody? Welcome to the show. My good friend Iso, uh, the medicine man shaman from the jungle. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Undefined human. Undefined human. <sighs> Member of the church, the one great sovereign tribe. And sunny. <laughs> yes. And sunshine over here. Yeah, I don't think they getting, can see you. Getting raw pee out of my nose for this. We're doing a private ceremony today. Legally protected. I reckon. <laughs> wow, it's intense. Oh. You, you might try me. Okay. Oh, which one is that? It's feminine? No. Where did it go? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, inner, inner journey. journey. Okay, we'll do some inner journey. Yeah. I'm kind of excited to try it this too. This one might be the feminine. Some good shit. That's some good shit. Oh, I guess I can sit up. Yeah. Oh, okay. I've never done it laying down. That's what I do with a creepy. No. Oh. Not too hard though. I mean, I'm, I might not be used to the dose, but it should be okay. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That's just right. Thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Good job. I still got some uh, hop A too. More tobacco based. Oh. This one's a proprietary formula. Oh, I've had Sananga before. I got Sananga. I might have to hit the Sananga later. Yeah. Peace to the gods, peace to the goddesses, ascended masters. We welcome guidance on our journey. Guidance to the promised land of mm. milk and honey. I'm getting dizzy. Mm. Yeah. Like lightheaded from that. It, it, it can do that. Ooh. You can make you barf too. I also want to fall over. Interesting. Thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm good at that. Yeah, if you want me to do you, yeah, all you want. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I want to try this one. We're just brainstorming the future, guys. Just brainstorming the future. Mm. Survivaling, I reckon. You want to tell your name? You don't have to. Oh, it's Sunny. Sunny. Mm. We got Iso and Sunny. Sunny Welcome to the show. Thank you. <laughs> Two of my uh, in-person homies. Oh, yeah. Hamza was on here the other day. Who's that? It's always a friend. Oh. Yeah. He's been hanging out. <laughs> we just gonna be busy all night. <laughs> all night. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Right. Is it you want to do it this way? Yeah. Yep. This <laughs> <laughs> Tarzan is a good choice too. Right. It's Ooh. kind of strengthening. Interesting. Yeah, this Strength stuff has helped my heart so much, bro. Whoa. What do you mean it helps your heart? Like you I <clears throat> took on severe heart trauma. So if you like arrhythmia or tachycardia? Yeah, I had a fucking, that. my heart rate, resting heart rate was 95 for months and months. Mine was up to 170. Resting? Mm-hmm. God damn. And it's still like that, and they're like telling you, they're like, uh, you need to take heart medication. Um, and I don't want to take those drugs, that those heart drugs I've heard bad, right. bad things about I'd rather take this stuff. Yeah, natural medication, like medicine. It's got a snake on it too, it's interesting. Oof. <laughs> I don't see this one's made out of a different kind of wood. It's wow. purple, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are they the same symbols? Yeah, the snake. Where'd you get them from? That rape.shop. Or oh. no, this one I think came from 
Tribu I think it came from Tribu Spirit. This is yeah. a U.S. company. They have a U.S. store that ships from U.S. I like the <clears> container. <throat> Ooh. Okay. That's good, I reckon. Yeah, I reckon. You know, if you take the risk, sometimes <clears throat> it pays off. Mm-hmm. Custom seizing. Ooh, that was blood. Is that normal? I don't think like blood. People. Yeah, I don't think so either, but... Ooh. Is that normal? Yeah. Just for, probably. It's happening. But it, does, <clears throat> it happened once, and then it mm. didn't happen again. It's interesting. Yeah. Maybe just the vessels, your blood vessels get irritated. It's almost like it upgrades your nose over time. <clears throat> like your smell? Like what? Like your sense of smell, or like how do you mean upgrade? Just like you can take more and more of it because your nose ah. opens up somehow. Builds that, um. Yeah. Your membranes. I guess so. It's doing, it's, it lets it get, it get, absorbs into the bloodstream. Yeah, it was That's pretty fast. It was like instant, like. Unique effects. It's safe to do that again. Yeah. It's up to you. You have to make your own decisions. Shoot that. Yeah, That's yeah, okay. Just wait until you feel ready. I was like, I still feel pretty dizzy and lightheaded. Okay. Well, don't, don't do it then. Yeah, I'm still feeling it pretty hard, actually. Woo. I might need a, mo a, a, a that's while. Spicy. <laughs> that, that's spicy. That's what that's I was spicy. talking about. I'm very mm. sensitive to that stuff, and I'm still feeling it. Oh, of course it. you are. Like, well, I, just I mean, like it. you said, your metabolism is fast. Yeah, it's extremely fast. And last night, my metabolism was warp drive. Whoa. <clears throat> What, and what is, where do they get rape from? Like, it's uh, a plant? It comes from the jungle. South America. But it's a plant? South America, yeah. It's a mixture of plants. Uh, well, yeah, they don't even tell you what's in it some, sometimes. Oh. Yeah, the I, the I rape for sure has ayahuasca, though. It was labeled IFA, correctly. yeah. Yeah, it's for sure ayahuasca. Is one of my it even made me barf multiple times. Wow. Mm hmm Did you ever not barf from it? Well, yeah, but I, if you keep working it, it can, you get the Aya one specifically. I, there was one yeah, today that you. triggered a barf. It, I was so purified afterwards. So it like cleanses you spiritually. Yeah, but like this one went. I don't know which one it was, but it went right to my stomach, and it acted on the stomach. And then wow. about ten minutes later, I was barfing up like San Pedro, you know, water. <coughs> Here, you do me if you want. Okay. Can you build a tolerance to it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you do. It's pretty heavy the first time. So you have to like really get in high doses then to feel it at a point. Yeah, that one's spicy, Ooh. man. It's a spicy, spicy. That was intense, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wait till we break out the Sananga, <clears throat> then, then you'll know intensity. Sananga's good for your eyes. I don't know, five hits of acid was intense enough for me. I don't know if I could get rid of that. You know, in this oh, one, it's you nothing do it, like it. You can watch Medicine this. from the jungle is doing Really? Different. Oh yeah. You can watch us. It's, yeah, this is some Good stuff. A I third eye opener. I kind of think of DMT too. Like that was probably the most intense. Have you tried time. combo yet? <laughs> combo is very interesting. <laughs> I'm at a new church that does combo. They do combo mm. and bufo. Okay. Yeah. They're only an hour from here. Okay. Hmm. That would be cool to make a visit. Yeah. Oh. Here's some more set? medicine. Mapacho. What is mm. that? A mapacho rape? No. It's just papacho. Oh, what? It's like a dip. Oh, you like just really? Yeah. You can what? eat it too. What? Mm hmm. I've smoked <clears throat> mapacho, but I've never heard of the dark mapacho <clears throat> goo. What is this? I'm going to all spin. Will it make your head spin? Um, it's Have you tried it? Me. It's, it's pretty subtle. Can I try some? Yeah. yeah it's like mud. You just take a little bit. <laughs> Like how much? Um, I'll show you next Like not very much. Like a tiny spoon. Cause mapacho don't mess around. Like you get these big cigarettes in Peru and they come mm. in these big wheels of the cigarettes like with a paper roll around it. <sighs> yeah, I've never had one of those. I tried to buy some but it, customs. It's been a long time. They sent a letter to my mom's house, too. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, whatever. Starwalker is the last person who done Sonata for me. Good old Starwalker. Yeah. yeah. I think he might come over. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like that. Keep saying he's going to come over. 
What is it? Wow. San Pedro. Oh. San Pedro goo. Wow. This This makes it through customs because it's just some goo. No way of knowing what it is. They label it differently. Name of the website's oknatura.com. Mm. It didn't even take that long to get here, too. Check out what else I found. I, I was looking for a hookup really bad. Mm. Couldn't figure it out for a while. Mm. This is ayahuasca like vine and chacruna leaf. Oh my goodness. Chacruna is the same thing. The yellow. No, wow. that's the ayahuasca vine. It's like the, the toad. Chacruna, I think, is DMT. It is. It's 5-MeO DMT. Oh, shit. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. So, like... You just... How much do you... Oh, wow. That's a lot. Like this? Oh, yeah. And you eat it? You can eat it, yeah. No. Hey, you'll puke. Oh, so it's kind of like chewing back where you put it in your lap. <laughs> Ooh. Such interesting things, you know. I found this treasure trove online. This Rape Dutch shop is fucking treasure trove. <clears throat> That's interesting. Yeah, just wait till we're all financially set up. We carry them in our stores and shit. Shoot that. Hmm. How are you feeling? I still feel like. Got really cold. <laughs> Was it you for it? Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> I'm a little back there now, but it's still like physically can feel it. <laughs> so far, I say it's the best podcast ever. <laughs> oh, let's, we did the other side. Let's do this. Yeah. Drop a sonanga. Do you do your own eye? Yeah. Is that what is that? It's you, eye, eyeball medicine. And what does it do? It burns the crap out of your fucking eyes, and like, then it goes away in like ten minutes, and you feel better. Wow. Makes you cry and shit. Super cleansing yeah. tool. Opens the third eye. Fuck. That's Can I intense. Get a Tarzan on my other side. Really. <clears throat> See, I was, I peaked on the San Pedro probably 2 a.m. <clears throat> and I was feeling so fucking trippy. It was just balls. It was balls to the wall. And then I could tell I was peaking. And I was like, all right, the peak's, the peak's on. I caught it on body cam footage. And I was just trying to keep moving and doing um, the job I was doing, that garden and stuff, because I had to keep my um, my uh, nervous system, you know, from like over frying. Ooh, has to tea. I might take some of that too. I like that one. Yeah, that one's fucking dope. They have like different effects, or yeah, totally different effects. Sometimes most of them so feel like about strains. the same. I don't know which strain I did, but it was Some pretty. of them will just create a rush of energy that goes to your crown chakra. I like I liked the feeling of the crown chakra or sacral chakra. Um, I can't remember which chakra you could unlock a certain thing. It's like the purple. I don't know. Don't know. The crown's kind of like blue, Samsara. I think. Samsara. It's like bluish golden. I got a good story to tell. I was doing this the other night, last night maybe, uh, the night before, <clears throat> and uh, this divine hand showed up in my third eye, right? There's this blue hand kind of mm. cut off right here. Like eyes closed? Or? I, I just saw it with the third eye. Wow. You ever seen the third eye? No. Oh yeah, got a lot of time. I've never I did a whole third, third eye, eye lesson on the podcast the other day. It, it was the male-female integration third eye lesson. I loved it right there. This one is cold too. <coughs> of course. It's 
So yeah, keep building those skills, and um, <coughs> we might be able to hire you um, in our trust and stuff. Please. Yeah. Uh, be Just build skills. You could be a beneficiary, which yeah. means you collect shares of prof profit or stuff like that. Of course. Yeah. After you do rock pay, are you supposed to feel kind of like dissociated, like out of it? Like um. I don't want to say. Oh, high. you can be. Yeah. You know, I did you smoke weed too, yeah. so maybe that's the the eye will will kind of throw you off balance, and it'll make it hard to walk and stuff. Yeah, this was wondering. Yeah. And then definitely make you barf too. Oh, damn. You didn't take the Aya one though, so no. it shouldn't be that bad. No, I I don't want to barf. <laughs> Peace to the gods and goddesses. Peace to the tribe. Healing to all the lands. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One moment. There you go. Get them toxins out. I'd be open to doing it one more time. Which one do you want to try? Uh, what do you recommend? I don't know which one you did earlier. It was pretty good. Yeah, we'll go with it. I like that. Try the feminina. <clears throat> yeah, feminine. You could mix them. You would like that you one. You could mix them together. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. Do it out of this one. <laughs> I'm not sure what they call these, tarimbes or something. There's a kudipe and a... <coughs> I think it's kudipe. Can I have a paper towel? Oh, this, one's, this one's a kudipe. Oh, then tipe. It's tipe. You need a paper towel when you're done. Um, you'll do better with this. The tissue? Okay. I just don't want to use all your tissue. <laughs> no, I got plenty. <coughs> I, I stocked up on tissue. I'm gonna need that. So I don't even have to buy that. Spit in. <laughs> you did this side last, I think. The right side. Yeah, we start with the left. Do you feel an energy in one or the other? Uh, I mostly felt it in the left side. Like, side. Mm -hmm. That might have been what happened. Sure. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one who does this, motherfuckers. I'm not the only one. We got a whole tribe of them. We haven't even met half yet. Oh, well, this is my first time doing rock bait. I might Americans. try the Aya in a second. <sighs> <sighs> There's on the spit. Hmm? Spit. <coughs> sorry. Mommy, sorry. That is, uh. Ooh. It, that felt different than. Yeah. It's I kind of like. It's more calm. It is. It's not as intense. You want to try that one the other side now? That one was a lot more chill than the one you gave me first. Inner journey in what? Um, Yawanawa from the Nina. Yawana. Hey, wait, what? <laughs> I said that wrong. Yawanawa. I can't say that. That's a tongue twister. <clears throat> Hey man, you're one of the first in-person One Great Work guests in a while. <clears throat> Hamza, really? Hamza beat you to it though. <clears throat> really? Yeah. <clears throat> what should we talk about? This guy's <clears throat> there's no taboo topics. 
I think it's more of just intuitional thing. No. Hold on. Wait. Well, one thing we were talking about, and I've been thinking about, is how there's all these cheap plots you can get in like weird places like in Tennessee, and just buy them all up, Kentucky, and make like uh, tiny little homesteads. All right, I'm doing the Earthship class. You know, do workshops. You know, all of that kind of thing. And flip them years. for the community, and then you so save them, them in the trust. You want to save them in the trust, and then anyone who joins is a beneficiary. Mm. Whatever we got to do to get the Agora land faster, where we're back into the Agora, mm. um, doing doing the good work, you know, mm. getting away from money. Mm -hmm. Transcending all that. That's what all of our uh, one great work freedom friends are all about. Yeah, food freedom. That's, that's well, the I'm, way to do I'm it. Try, I tried to do it last night in my garden. I know, I love that. <laughs> you gonna try the mix too? It's very Hey, if you want, I so you could tell the audience uh, about peyote ceremony. Um, they're they're kind of new to this. Um, what about peyote? Whatever you want. Um, just in general? Sure. Uh -huh. um, okay. Well, um, I don't think, honestly, anymore, I'll first say this, because if, I think anymore it's not really the most sustainable way to consume masculine if you're going to do a masculine and try that frequency <laughs> at all, honestly, because peyote is extinct or close to extinct and there's only like one people who grow it in the u.s mm. the the peyoteros and like honestly it takes a long time to grow it's sacred i think that like the culture is kind of wearing it out <laughs> to mm. be honest from my perspective mm. um i think it's a medicine that should be respected with sure. great honor but i think that it has done a lot to change people in our community's lives though Aww. too in a lot of ways it is a profoundly healing mm -hmm. kind of like numb the pain in the yeah we're getting it from a farm is what Manthon standing said so that's probably more sustainable than wild harvesting can't you grow the peyote cactus to the little buttons you can you can uh, attach them to san pedro cactuses <clears throat> oh. oh okay You put it all, the all that you had on that in there. I probably get the other side too. There's probably enough in there still. Mm -hmm. okay. I like I like the inner journey and the that combination. It's very mm -hmm. mellow. Mm -hmm. What are you drinking? That's what made me see the divine hand of healing. Some kind of tea. Some kind of tea. It's pretty good though. This one's chamomile. Plant water is good. Hydrating. I like that bottle. That's cool. Yeah, I think you can do to help mental exhaustion. You want some plant water? I might give you some. This is what? Tea. Uh, plant water. This one's good. Oh, that's cool. Wow. It's got the filter inside the bottle. Is this like actually? Oh, this is honey that you had. It's yeah. CBD infused. Ooh, that's. It tastes like chamomile. Bioplasma is good for exhaustion. You might take some. Mm, that's good. It's good for hydration. Thank you. <laughs> it's what? It's good for hydration and exhaustion. What is it again? Keep I it told going. you Nate knows Keep what's it going. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't catch anything. It's good for hydration and it's good for mental and physical exhaustion. I think you gave me that last time. Bioplasma. Do you take how many? Oh, I, I just took like three. Dude, this is some good shit, bro. Oh my god, super fucking tasty. Them or do you swallow them? It's super bitter. Mapacho. 
I only ever smoked mapacho before. I never even had tried yeah. mapacho like that before, but it made me yeah. salivate a lot. It was hard to get Aubrey it. over here soon. Aubrey's coming? That would be cool if he did, but. Do you uh, eat them or? Yeah. You just eat it. Do you eat them? Mm -hmm. eat them? Mm -hmm. Just chew it up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. What is it? What do you call it? I've got tea and stuff. I want chamomile instead. Uh, yeah. I do. You want chamomile? Mm -hmm. I've been liking these uh, herbal toners. I'm gonna lay back. Arizona tea. Ugh, it's a fucking intense night. I need a break. Play some guitar for you guys later. Oh, Hell yeah. That's a beautiful guitar. <laughs> it's my healing guitar. I bought it specifically with that intention. It reminds me of the Matrix. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of what's on my mind more than anything is trying to move forward on getting closer to sovereignty. transcending, yeah, all of that and sovereignty, ultimately freedom. For sure, bro. Embodied. That's what we're all going for. And it's fullness. Living the dream. This crystal? It looks like maybe amethyst or something. Interesting. That's pretty. Got some gold around the camera. That's a good magic spell right here. Get some high quality data. He's <laughs> <laughs> recuperating from travel. So. Mm -hmm. For sure. <clears throat> Me too. <laughs> yeah, I had this moment where I was seeing that ghost from the movie The Grudge. Oh, the Remember that girl, movie? She's got like yeah. Hair. Scary movie. Yeah. I was seeing that ghost <coughs> and Joe Yosef was talking about dead people and stuff. And uh, oh. he said some of them don't even know they're dead. That's sad. Yeah. So then I, I, I visualized her <coughs> house over there in China or wherever and running it over with a bulldozer and then releasing her spirit out of that, you know. I think our mind is so powerful that we can't even imagine death. I think we're honestly constantly reimagining the next moment. <coughs> I've had so many near-death experiences at this point, I'm convinced that Bro, I we're, we're like, just reimagining the next I, page I on jumped default, timelines. Like, I jumped timelines exactly. into a parallel dimension where I was still alive. I feel that. Interesting. I can relate. Relatable <laughs> content. <laughs> I think we do that all the time. Mm -hmm. even but I really, hard, I really hard did it. Because I did physically die twice. Yeah. So you... Yeah, you... Physically you died twice. Shit. And I was fucked up, dude. <clears throat> I was completely fucked up. <sighs> Just completely annihilated, bro maximum death i think that like when we break down into our like simplest substrates and like truly die and dissolve for a second it's like healing it's like you ever see the drum part of evolution noise? and it will happen over and over i don't think that that's anything that's going to change anytime soon evolution i'm going to set up a second mic oh, i've got this record button it's Bluetooth. <clears throat> it turns it off and on. Interesting. Maybe not. Whatever.
things like the jaw heart yeah i want to get one yeah, I didn't think you'd i've seen there's really nice ones you can get too really? a little bigger and stuff hmm. Interesting. i always play them whenever i see them <laughs> <laughs> you like put it on your teeth really yeah that's interesting it like vibrates your teeth Oh. oh yeah and the fan yeah <laughs> of course can i play didgeridoo for your podcast yeah. huh yeah sure you got one yeah it's in your all right <clears throat> It's in your I get the boot vibe going. Yeah. Did you do this? Did you do this? We're playing this drum. Play your big ass drum right there. You can play the drum if you want. There's actually two new drums. I remember you showed us those. Yeah. yeah. I might play those. I should play that one. Bet. to get out of the way.
electric power. Let's try this. It's important to share your toys, guys. If you want, you might rinse your hands in the distilled water. Keep the drums all clean and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Just take it to the bathroom. I forgot you said that about your drum before to me. Oh, it's mainly these ones. That one's probably fine, but. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, these ones are brand new and stuff can get into the skin and stuff. Mm -hmm. One of the best ways to wash your hands though is with just distilled water. That's interesting. Yeah, it gets everything off. Except oil, it doesn't get oil off. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. This thermos is badass, man. Right. I used to bring it to ceremony. Really? Yeah, I did. Check it out. Mark Passio's band, The Founders. Oh, what, what? How do you find something like that? That is like high On the quality. internet. I got it a long time ago. I like it. Yeah, hit me up. Yep. Is it already ready? You really do that well, man. Bless you. In the fish. Yes.
Some samples of that later. That'd be fun to also new video. Yeah. Maybe it'll make you we'll both see. Brotherhood. Check, check, brotherhood. based on natural law.
company of brethren. An old tribe, tribal sovereignty. Take care of your extended family too. All my relations and my ancestors, thank you for the medicine. We're just going to heal it up one day at a time. Get all the way back to perfect. Start with your diet. Start with the diet. Leave those animals alone. They have rights too. Pleasure and perfection in the party palace. Sovereign anarchist ceremony. Legal protection. Rolling in hot. Rolling in heavy duty on this mic. <laughs> Dr. Crab Dick. <laughs> Throwing that shit down. Getting in all litty. All litty and trippy like a little kitty. Litty and trippy. All in your motherfucking face. <laughs> oh, we just gonna get extra flavorful. You thought I was missing in action, but I ain't been on no back of no milk carton boxes. I've been milking and boxing them bitches. <laughs> Said, oh, when the pimp's in the crib, ma. I'm looking for a dime. That's top of the line. A cute face, thin waist with a big behind. You want this money, then you gotta be a bad bitch. Break it down for a tip if you a bad bitch. You know me, I gotta keep me a bad bitch. A freak in the morning, a freak in the evening. I'm looking for a freak when I'm done block bleeding. Take me to the house, tease me, then please me to tell all the friends how a dick made me sleepy. All in the south, the dirty south. Dirty South Party Town, we rolling hot. Roll out. Healing up that tribe, that tribe of sovereigns. You're gonna be an asset to the community. Feed all them babies. Protection magic from the divine. Clear out all negativity. Remove all fear. Get rid of all enemies. Safety, peace, and harmony. Peace to the gods, my friends. Peace to the gods. To my Anunnaki's and my reptilians, my motherfucking Andromedans. You know who you are. Peace to the gods. Definitely my Pleiadians too now. Don't forget them weird little robot greys. Peace to them too for once in their life. I don't know what it's like to be an AI computer. I don't want to find out. <laughs> Got ISO on the stage. Dropping the beat down. Laying it down fresh and dirty. All night long. love and sovereignty, happiness, freedom, truth, love, and anarchy. <laughs> Special thanks to uh, Jeff Berwick, the host of the Anarchist. He's one of the first ones to open my eyes. Talking about the Federal Reserve and shit, how it's going to crash. 
it's all burning down. The house is on fire. You might want to stop hitting that snooze button. It might be time to wake up. Maybe make an exit or something. To Joe Murray, the sovereign anarchist rapper, I do take influence. I do. K Reno, Beast, special thanks. Teaching me how to flow, teaching me how to rhyme. Ain't doing no time for no crimes. You're just up leveling quick. Get us right out of this damn video game, right into a better one, right into the best possible video game. Up level, warp speed, hyper shaman, princess mode. Just dropping it down all night, all night on you. You don't even have to fucking push a button. It's already playing. evolution system we go we go find out what's important we go find out what's important in life look through all those variables and make sure we make the right choices from here on out forever forever and ever until everything's perfect good old iso mister i don't even know what he is You'll have to tell us ISO knows about that. <laughs> I like to be a little bit of a reptilian insectoid myself. That's kind of my flavor. It's a reptilian insectoid. Hunch your ass down. <laughs> Hunch you down, nigga. Run your ass down. Unleash the guns for my niggas or gun your ass down. <laughs> funky. Getting funky on that mic like an old batch of collard greens. H to the Izzo. Just untouchable. We just untouchable. 
Sheezy. Sheezy, it's off to Heezy and the one Tweezy. It's the doggy fizzle, tell it bizzle. Snoop D O double jizzle. I'm off the nympho tempo, you motherfucking bimbo. So quit staring at my nympho, you nymphomaniac. Shake it up, put it on the table, and break it up. Put a lighter on the end of it. It don't really matter what you spent on it. <laughs> some good energy. Coming through those tubes, blasting your fucking face off. Just hot grease spouting out my lips. Hot grease, it burns that mic. It goes right through the fucking inner tubes. Right through the inner tubes and sets your face on fire like a hatred copter. Because <laughs> that is my job, hatred copter. <laughs> While I'm killing you, take off your face with a front of my hatred copter. Be classy. What the? Guys got me laid out. <laughs> 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 that was so fun. <laughs> yeah, man, it's good to have joy in your heart. Not be so fearful. Mm-hmm. I reckon. I know that. Just peace. We're in the safe space over here. All the protection magic we need for a long time. Long time. We're ahead of the curve. Some more princess rape. Some more princess rape. For me. For me. <laughs> you would have thought. I love you. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> tap, tap, tippy, tap, tap, tap. <laughs> you never know. I was talking about um, on the show the other day. I want to be able to physically shape shift into a girl. Yep, I remember. And then, and then back, I was I was made an episode about it. I, I remember you telling us that yeah, too. Yeah, I was I telling do. people I was taking all these female enhancement like herbs and shit, and I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna sprout, I'm gonna grow a fucking pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna grow a fucking pussy. Watch this. <laughs> you just wait. You just yes, wait. You do that. something else. I'm gonna grow a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Then I'll have twice the fucking class. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's game over. <clears throat> yeah, man. That'll be a, that'll be a that'll be a trip. Hmm. Peace to the gods. Mm-hmm. And Kesh. Special thanks to Max Egan for sure. Definitely a sovereign hero. There's a lot of us who are war heroes at this point. Fucking, I think I'm gonna have one of them on my show. I think he really recently got sued. What's his fucking name? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm ready. For you? Oh me? Oh. Or it's for me. For you. Whoa! Oh, yep, that was quick. <laughs> Fucking sweet. God damn, you're good at that. <laughs> yeah, he, he is. I was like, ah. <laughs> Release that stress. Release that stress. What happened? 
Hey, uh, I noticed. What do you mean, what happened? Oh, you just press the thing. Oh, uh, it's just saving the file. Oh. In the card. In case it runs out of batteries. It won't lose the file, but just in case. Hmm. He knows what. Hmm? You, you were saying something. Oh, uh, I wanted him to show his tattoo on his hand. I, I swear I have the same symbol. Put it really close. Yeah, Real, you Even it. closer. There you go. Legvisir. Legvisir, yes. yes. Check it out. Yes. Yep. Honest. Yeah. You have it too. That's cool. <coughs> Brothers. We're on the same wavelength. Yes. Is it out? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. The other mm -hmm. side? Mm -hmm. Do you if you want. Okay. okay. I want to get it ready. Turn it does it actually have Sananga in it? Yeah, I guess. I mean, it's a proprietary formula. But I took some Sananga and then took that right afterwards. I felt like it did resonate, actually. Hmm. Yeah. You can pour it back in. <laughs> I will. That might be too much. Yeah. I'm really... <laughs> oh, this thing is so con fucking convenient, dude. Hard people. It's not like you have to just use all your lungs or anything. Just, like, just a quick little push. That would give me a jaguar. Mm. Good medicine from tribuspirit.us. Tribuspirit.us.com, I think it is. Something like that. Search it, search it on Google. I'm okay for now. You get some bioplasma yet? Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Don't forget about your bioplasma. Oh, fuck. I don't know. I swear I don't like doing it this way. Some insectoid snakes, motherfucker. Coming your way. <laughs> what you mean? Well, like, dude, this medicine has been upgrading my DNA so much in my fucking astral body that I literally, astrally can shapeshift into insects. I started being able to do it like 10 years ago. Whoa. Yeah. I was. That's why my name's Crystal Spider, because I have a spider fucking insect, insectoid. Thanks. Yeah, salvia to the norm helps kind of awaken things salvia. a little bit. Yeah. Do you have salvia? I wish I did. I, oh. I have a leftover of a, of a bag because it wasn't very strong. They they labeled it as 60x, but I've never got to try salvia. Before. It's fucking dank, bro. I'm trying to get some more. We need to get some from a different state. Someone from a different state needs to ship it here. Left. Yeah, I tried to order live plants and they just didn't even fucking ship it. Yeah. Just kept my money. So I paid in crypto. I That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. If I would have used credit, I, I might have been able to do like a cancel the charge or something. Yeah. <coughs> I'm going to switch the battery out. Okay. Turning it without you moving. Oh, it's because it's not tight. There you go. Yeah. 
Yeah, you can tell your story about Satan if you want, or Beelzebub, or whoever. I don't, I don't know. I don't know everything about that. <laughs> I'm not sure I want to talk about That's all fine. that. I'm trying to get some insight. It's like I heard one left-hand path guy saying that um, you, there's a time and place for that energy. I was thinking about that, and I was like, huh. What does that mean? I guess you want to cast someone into hell or something. Like a demon. I'm not sure I believe in hell. Um, I believe it in it as a concept. Similar to the Christian allegory. There's hell on earth, you know? I think all, all the kind of like perceptions of how you could perceive the realm around you exist on top of one another simultaneously. It might be true. But that would probably mean as that hell does affect realities. Exist. It's all in just the way you see it. And you change the way you see the world around you changes in a way. Well, that's good work, man. You gotta see clearly. I mean, I might do the. Oh, speaking of, I might do the Sananga. Yeah, let's do Sananga. Oh, Jesus. You're gonna have to lay down for it, unless you just prefer sitting. Will you do the. Drop it in my eyes for me? I will, if you want. It'll probably be easier. I accidentally dumped half of it out. But we got, I th we got more coming. More sitting on down the way. Oh, it goes a long way. Peace to the gods in Lakesh. So it, what I do is I look right into the dropper. And then tell me when it looks like it's right over your eye. Sound good? Yeah. I'm just gonna do one eye at a time. Watch out. I'm watching I think it'll be alright. So, does that look about right? Look right into it. Okay, here we go. Here missed. We go. Oh. No, you missed. Okay. Well, you can lean forward a cool. little bit. You can go maybe. closer to my eyes, fine. Let that kundalini rush up the spinal cord. <laughs> oh. I've done it numerous times on camera now, too. I typically scream. Yeah, yeah I fucking scream, dude. That's just bad for you. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> it's a nice calm medicine, though. Honestly, it's pretty calm. See, he's probably about to calm down here. Oh, sometimes they'll go all the way to the back of the eye. Wow. Ah, uh, so yeah. Activates the third eye. Get your pineal gland in shape. Oh. Uh, that one's calcified for me. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> I told you I wasn't the only one who does it. <laughs> There's plenty of us. Plenty of us. You just gotta know where to look. Can I sleep good tonight? Oh, yeah. All the burns. Oh yeah, it does. Burns like nothing else. Not even cayenne pepper. I got cayenne pepper in my eye earlier, and it was nothing. It was nothing compared to that. Ah, uh, like it gets into your other eye too. That was an intense dose, wasn't it? Yeah, but it was speed. <sighs> It'll help you relax. I can't wait to open my yeah, mate, I bet you've been using your eyes a lot lately. I have. Yeah. Just heal them up, reprogram them and stuff. The stuff can open your vision, even um, 
Seven Bomar was talking about it. Wow. Yeah, he was saying you can go into HD with your physical eyes and every. It's like going from a 60s TV mm-hmm. into like a 8K or something. Wow. Yeah. I have a feeling it's connected to going through dimensions. The best content on the internet. That's impressive. There goes tears. There's his tears. Oh my gosh, he's crying, dude. That was a lot of tears. Ooh. Yeah. Your eyes all red. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. High five. Thank you. <laughs> oh. I need to fucking do the back roller. I'm gonna. Up. Will you do my other side though? Oh yeah. You ready? Yeah. Oh shit. He's a hero, man. Yeah. Mm. Hero point. I, I usually take a little bit of a break, but not always. No, I'd rather do it all both. Okay. Mix it up again. Wow. <laughs> you got yellow shit in your around your eye, I don't know. Yeah. Might be mucus or something, I don't know. No, it's actually makeup. <laughs> no. Yellow. Yeah, yeah, the eyeshadow. You ready? Just be careful. Uh, yep. <laughs> yeah. There we go. There we go, people. We administer in medicine just like a true shaman. Yeah. To peace, to freedom, to safety, uh. to safety. Your nose thing fell out. Healing. Ugh. Love. Passion. Pleasure. Wisdom. Knowledge. Healing. Upgrade. Beauty. Strength. Peace. Wisdom. Mm-hmm. Happiness. Bliss for all eternity. What are you doing? Might have to do some too. Nope. I'm really watering. This fucking mic was a solid buy, bro. I didn't expect it to be this good. Long acting. One. Activation. Pleasure. I hope it's a clear. Sorry. Yeah. Okay, 
can't open your eyes for a while. It's really hard to open your eyes. Mm. That burns almost like no other thing in your eyes. I swear to God. Would you want to cast someone into hell, though, if you had the choice? Why not just bring them to heaven instead? Even if they were bad, just change them and let them right in. The problem is the only person who could change them is the... Yep, that's, that's the ticket. Where's the paper towels? Do they live by you? Oh, there they are. Behind you. Do you have paper towel? Like that. Mm. Man, I'm so happy with this fucking the body. Yeah, I'm so happy with this fucking thing. Yeah, that is. I, I think it needs to charge. A really neat little doodad. Let's see. Yeah. I gotta clean you out. Yeah. Are you Your eyes are so many. Refreshed. Refreshed. Our face cleaning me out. Yeah, man, this camera, little baby camera captured an entire ceremony last night. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe tonight. Yeah, tonight. Is it tonight? That sounds good to me. <sighs> Got my little medicine bag here. This is where I put all my rough in. Nice. Oh, yeah. There's a little mint one, too. This is hoppy, you know? Oh, yeah, the mint hoppy is really fresh. Pulp Fiction. Yeah. You know when that girl overdoses on uh, heroin? What about Pulp Fiction? Oh, that's that main star character. She overdoses on fucking heroin. Yeah. And then they have to go to the hospital and shit. Yeah. 
It reminds me of the nose medicine, but this is like the opposite of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like healing. Yeah, you get the same and look on your face. Yeah. Uh, huh? That one was too hard for me to go with. I'm Sorry. actually really sensitive. Yeah. You picked a strong man. I did. Thank you, Nathan. It means a lot. Of course. You're I'd say you're too. one of the strongest ones there, bro. Because, um, I don't know, you just had that tribal look of doing work and shit. Yeah. Thank you. I just want to return to reality, the reality of it. That's really all I want. Yeah, it'll, it'll get there. We're on our way. Ooh, wow. Did you feel that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, little shoulder reel right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know when I'm playing guitar, but I'm gonna try this new mic on the guitar amp. I hear they, they work really well for, for that. I'm curious to see how it'll turn out. Oh, it's gonna turn out perfect, bro. I already saved all the files. I checked the audio. It's it's fucking good. Oh, that's a setup. Yeah, dude. This thing's like a hundred percent fail proof. I I took it to ceremony. Did you know that? Uh -uh. I, I did when I did my own ceremony. I took the camera and recorded a bunch of it. <clears throat> I recorded Aubrey's opening because he was training, right? He was. I was. I he had led, led the three ceremonies with me. That was his third, so I was the I was the host. He was the co-host. This was like a month ago or so. Uh -huh. Woo! This thing works just as good, bro. It does. Yeah, this thing gets it. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I like doing it for myself too. Plant technology. Yeah. <laughs> For real. <laughs> I'm fucking cooled off, man. That fucking San Pedro it had me going, dude. If you ever have time to watch that body cam fucking video. <laughs> that shit had me going. <laughs> I, mean, I, knew, I, I knew it would wear off about now too and I was like yeah this is going to be nice when it wears off <sighs> yeah I made some of the coolest fucking podcasts bro I made so many that you, you no, almost no one's going to have time to watch it <laughs> Some really good moments. I accidentally poured a essential oils in my eyes. Oh fuck! Yeah, because I was dousing myself. Oh and no! Then I was, and then I was like doing a rap like pimp video and shit. And then <laughs> and I was like Cat Williams and stuff. And like I just I took it and I was like making a big scene out of it, but I was like perfectly fine because I was used to sananga, right? And it, I knew it was just gonna help. It wasn't that bad of an oil either. It wasn't the oregano oil, thankfully. Oh my gosh, that would be hell. That would be so spicy in your eye. Oh my I God. don't even know what would happen if you did that. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I decided I wasn't going to try that one. It would burn really bad. Honestly, maybe stress your eyes and hurt your vision. <laughs> Those kids are outside are the ones that are going to get a bunch of free food. Who? Neighborhood kids. Oh. Yeah, food is expensive now, right now. It's fucking. Like not, not for me, it's not. Get some sprouts. Get a sprouter and some sprouts. Yeah. It's dirt cheap. 
You're right. Yeah. You don't ever need to buy salad greens ever again. No. They're not as fresh either. You gotta grow light. You have to get, mm-hmm. choose a grow light. Oh, just a cup. That's it. Just a uh, glass jar with filter screen. Steel mesh filter screen with a rubber band on it. That's all you need. Uh, can get like five of them and uh even like half gallon size jars maybe even gallon size would probably work i haven't tried it but we eating for almost free if you do that wow. just get just get fruit at the grocery store like bananas and stuff mm-hmm. if you got your own trees i planted a bunch of trees some of them are already producing. I planted them like five years ago in the same the house in the backyard. Pears? Arkansas black apples, and I just planted Fuck yeah. three. Uh, Fuck yeah, those yeah. are a good genome. Yeah, they they basically, whenever it freezes, they just fall off, and they're perfectly fine. Yeah. It's easy. I heard that they're resistant to cedar rust. They're resistant to a lot of things. They have pretty thick skin. I've never had one. I got these Asian pear trees too. They do really well in Missouri. Oh. Mm-hmm. She you definitely propagate them. Asian pears. I want some of that. I want Arkansas blacks too. I I've got, uh, I used to have a cherry tree. I guess it died. Got mulberry trees too, mature ones. Hell yeah. Yeah, my mom pruned them like, like an idiot, but. I want to paid do, someone to prune them and they kind of hacked it. I want to do white mulberry trees and then do silk. Oh yeah, that'd be, that'd be fire. Mulberries yeah. are native to Missouri. Really? I'm pretty sure. I didn't know that. Yeah. That's why those ones are so old and doing perfect. Mulberries are divine. They're so good for Got me. a peach tree too. It's pretty big. Nice. It, grew, it grew fast. It didn't release any fruit this year, but it's there. Awesome. Just give it that divine androgen vibe, and then it may might be able to produce. You exactly. just hold the tree trunk and send divine androgen vibes into it. <laughs> Certainly could hurt it. Okay. Nice lapis ball. Perfectly safe. For some intimate healing work. This guy, bro, he was hating on my fucking shit this morning. Why? Just sent me this hater message. Mm. I don't know why. Help me. It's weird. Help me what? My neck. I can try. I just, my own hands hurt. <laughs> you don't have to if your hands are hurting. Okay. You gotta heal as a network and as a tribe. Oh. Build connections. Make friends and stuff. It's not that hard. No. Oh. You can do it. Yeah, we all can. We need more efficient ways of communicating, though, than are widely used. For it to be the most efficient, anyways. Mm-hmm. Well, iPhone works okay. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. It does work. At least people learn to text each other's actual number instead of, like, fucking Facebook. Facebook, man. It's a weird fucking place. It is. It really is. You know they've shadow banned me a long time ago. Like really? years and years and years ago. Yeah, I don't feel like very many people see my shit. Nobody. The same 20 people uh, and everyone who has the same vibe as me is the same fucking thing. You could get like five max. <laughs> For real. It's yeah. like the same like, people. Either your friends. It's the AI algorithm. The AI algorithm censored like, all of us. But you have, you have like... 
thousands of friends and you're literally like exactly five like your shit one, they you know pick something's one friend, up they'll pick one friend who says like dumb shit and then he <laughs> will get like ten thousand likes it's like they choose certain people too you? it's I, like I, all algorithm based it's yeah weird. i know how to do it too i, I did program computers just get AI and machine learning working on it, and then you tell them which what traits you're going for, and then they, they give you all the likes that you need. As long as you sell out. As long as you sell out and never ask questions. Get infinity likes. Same on YouTube. Same on fucking YouTube, bro. Exact same shit. Wow. Well. Mm-hmm. So it's a manipulation tactic because... They're preying on average Joes who want to be famous, right? And then they're psychologically manipulating them by uh, propping up a handful of artists to the top. But they don't know the algorithm's biased, so they can't... Only a tiny fraction of people can get the majority of the views. And it's like a pyramid, and there's levels down, and everyone starts at the bottom level. And it's almost like if you came in too late, it makes it really difficult to rise and shit. They can also shadow ban people and all kinds of things. But the majority of the, the accounts will get the minority of the views. And the top accounts will get the majority of the views. Hmm. Yeah. So they're hand selecting who the stars are going to be. Oh, that's yeah. fucked up. And then they're going to prop that in front of your face and say, you need to be like that guy. Yep. Yeah. Just like TV in the 90s. It's like the TV show Jackass is the example I, I like to use. If you act like Jackass, you're going to end up in a fucking million dollar mansion. Yeah. <clears throat> I didn't know why. You ain't going to end up in jail, no. You're going to be rich. Just act like Steve-O. <laughs> <laughs> why is that so true? <laughs> I thought about it. I was trying to figure out why I wasn't blowing up, and I was like, hmm. Because I'm not retarded. And it's not my content. I figured out. I was like, well, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not propagating basically stupidness. Yeah, I uploaded this like 250 videos to BitChute, right? And I'm still at like 70 subscribers or 80. So they've got an algorithm too. It's probably similar. They probably copied um, Google and stuff, but but they do allow uncensored content. So hmm. that more than makes up for it. Fair. Yeah, it's good enough. It'll do the job for now. I'm gonna get on this other one called uh, Odyssey. I used to be on there, but all my shit got deleted. What is it? It's a cloud like backup. But oh. it also plays videos and any document you can view on there. Then it's permanent in a blockchain. So once you upload, is if you don't lose your private key and delete it, if you deleted your private key, it would be permanently on there. I've got multiple permanent channels, and I think I finally found the private key. And they've got hundreds of videos on them. One is called Nathan Crabtree. is a channel on Odyssey. I'm going to get a new one, though. All my, I have to. I scripted it to upload in mass, right? And like, I just have to go rewrite the scripts and stuff. Do you have to spend crypto money to mm -mm. upload? No, because like they give you seen free. other crypto platforms the, like the that where they make you pay. The crypto aren't really that good. The, uh, as, at least when they first started, I don't know about now, but they give you rewards. You can tip people, give people likes that'll give you points and stuff. They give you plenty to start out with, though, like 20 coins, and you can you so can there is divide money the coin. Involved. Yeah, not really. You can divide the coin into like hundreds of a coin, and then upload 2,000 times or something. You know. But how do you get the coins? They give it to you for free for starting an account. And to get more coins, you, you can just buy. Make you can buy them off the exchange. I think if you buy a ton of coins, you can um, weight your video so that it's more important. If you if you tip yourself, then your video gains weight, but you have to go to the exchange and pay for it. I even tried that. Huh. Yeah. And if you make rewards, you can take them back to the exchange and sell them, you know? 
But again, they, they weren't worth much. They, they had a huge jump. I made some money a couple times. Me and Zoe lost out, though. Oh, well. I was doing well, though, before it all went south. What happened? I got, I got murdered. Oh. Yeah. So you lost it. Lost my house. Lost 150K. Lost my relationship. Lost my health. Lost my farm. My property. And I was in the fucking ICU. Mm. You know, just all went up in smoke down the toilet. And there was no stopping it either. No pulling myself out of that one. Just nosedive. Damn. Yeah, man. That was fucking tragic. That's why I'm trying so hard to heal, you know? Because I just want to move it past me. I just want to be free. I feel that. I feel that. Me too. <laughs> That's all I want. I just want real freedom. Why does it gotta be so complicated though? Or are we the ones overcomplicating it? <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't think it's me. I, mean, I make things seem simple. I try to. Definitely not me. I try to make things simple. Mm -hmm. You got the ignorant, though. They just ignore. They don't actually listen. Listening is a skill. Yeah. I've been doing it. I don't think a lot of people know how to actually listen fully, though. That's for sure. All right. There's a lot of layers to it. <laughs> All right. You got to use your heart a little bit. Yeah. A lot of it. I'm really good with logic and stuff. I I, I use it a lot. Because people come up to me and start saying things. And I just like walk them through all these logical arguments. And then they end up agreeing with me or something. It happened with Hamza the other day. He was trying to say that all physical matter is drugs. And I was like, alright, well that means your body's a drug, right? And he, because at first he, he said it as if, you know, it's bad to be on drugs. I was like, all right, well, that means your body's a drug, right? And he's like, yeah. I was like, so then the only way to get off drugs is to die. And then he was like, um, yeah, but I guess being on drugs isn't that bad. And I was like, yeah, see? Just, he was like, just don't overindulge. And I was like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Because <laughs> you know how people will say some certain things in condescending ways? You know, like they have an opinion of you, and that's why they're saying it. Mm. <laughs> Everyone's got opinions, just like they have assholes. Yeah, man, someone had a nasty opinion this morning. I didn't like it at all. I was not impressed. It, I didn't think it was based on anything that I even said in my videos, either. It was just assumptions. We tend to do that. Not me. Not me, not never. No yeah. way. Let's get our facts straight. <laughs> Always keeping it real. OG. <laughs> Super fresh. Mm -hmm. Hey, for you guys, if you didn't know, one of the abilities of the shaman is to adapt energy from the environment and absorb it and stuff mm -hmm. similar to like having a medicine um, animal or something mm -hmm. where you feel like you're the quality of that animal yeah yeah it's because uh you astrally and mentally become that animal so it starts to transport into physicality after that like spider for me Mm -hmm. Would you say you're just listening into it? I just what I, they I, are. I can just turn. I can see it clear as day. It's not a, anything that I even question. So it's more of a sight than it is a feeling. No, it's everything, bro. Oh. Yeah, I even have like spider abilities. Just to play piano really good. Playing piano mm -hmm. is like you have two spiders going at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. 
I like piano. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's so easy that thing slides out so fast. <laughs> <laughs> kind of surprised. I know. Thanks. Oh, you don't need. Yeah, there wasn't anything in there. That oh. one was empty. Good try, though. <laughs> I thought you were trying to do me, <laughs> so I took it out. You know, man, people, I guess, can't figure out why I post so much online, right? I mean, like, I guess from your perspective, it's like, why not? Yeah, exactly. I mean, if someone wants to hang out with our energy, whatever. I'm just doing my thing. I'm just in my own lane. <laughs> Being nice and happy and worried and carefree. I reckon. Having lots of pleasure. This one is a mix of the ones that I forget what it is. I pour it back in here. Oh, you like made a mix. I see. That's the mysterious bottle. Yeah. I'm not sure what's in it. Other than rape. It might be hoppy. I don't know. I'm gonna have to work on my back soon. Oh yeah. I wanna do, do some back rolling too. Let's see. Yeah man, I showed my shaws me the other day. It was nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I can definitely do it again if you if you need it. Whatever. Honestly, like you go so much without like human contact and I think it's honestly ridiculous. It's terrible, bro. It's it literal is. Torture it's starvation torture. Yeah. Now, you know what? Um, I actually solved the paradox by becoming divine androgen. Same. I'm I androgen. Was having, I was having fucking problems with girls and stuff. It was just terrible. It's like a rush of water, dude. Right. They call that the jaguar. Really? Yes. Huh. <sighs> that was cleansing, bro. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it. That you did a pretty big one just now. That was a good one. Which one was that? Oh, that was the mix. This. Yeah. Is... Mm. That wasn't even rough. It was fresh. Yeah, I realize though that um, big tech is saying that um, data is the next oil, and I've got this device that generates data, and then I just run it 24/7, and uh, make sure I only run it when I'm doing something cool, you know. Interesting. Yeah, and then you just collect it and you back it up, put it in the cloud. Just like. The library blockchain, for example, just throw it all up there. Hundreds and hundreds of videos. Trying to get on all these different platforms for my music recordings. I'm on a lot of them because I'm on this distro kid that sends it to like 20. I don't have all my new stuff there yet, but... Um, me or you? Me. Me. Yeah. Yeah, that was fresh. Didn't really burn very much at all. Not bad. Mm, I'm feeling it in my stomach now, though. My head just got a heavy energy. <laughs> it took it. Sometimes it takes a few minutes to kick in fully. Mm. That's how you get in trouble with the eye rape, because you you take more and then you just fucking barf. Yeah. I like the high up pay. Mm -hmm. Woo! Yeah. I like it though. Oh yeah, it's good. Stuff. 
I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna do one more. It, it, like, every single one of them have like a flavor almost, you know, mm -hmm. like in your nose, you, you taste You can tell flavor. they're different. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, that feminine one was my favorite though as far as flavor. I like this one's flavor a lot, whatever it is. Reminds me of just like a fresh air, like literally. We're just fucking uh, hippies in the fucking jungle. Yeah, the concrete jungle, I reckon. For now, until we figure I out be, our like, shit. I want to be like the next fucking Terrence McKenna. I'm not be fucking sweet. I think everyone should be their own, like. You know how I got famous, though. So. Terrence McKenna. How? Podcast? No, talking about drugs all the time. Oh. Ay ayahuasca and like LSD and all that stuff, mushrooms. Yeah, yeah. You don't know who Terrence McKenna is? I don't know who he is. Oh. But he's like, I wouldn't say I'm like extremely versed on like everything he said, but. See, he didn't have a 4K camera that he could just take to everything he does. <laughs> Not too hard. energy in the head it's kind of a heavy energy you know but heaviness is strength it's you can tell there's energy there though there's gravity that's what the that's what i've noticed with arape is you can distinctly feel where the energy's going it goes to different body parts that's what they said on the website too they said this one's for this chakra and this one's for the crown and this one's for the heart and then, and I ordered a variety, and I was like, yeah, it does work that way. One of them got my stomach and made me barf. It was like a very cleansing one. I guess. I mean, I felt so much better after I barfed. It was, it was after peeking on that San Pedro last night. I'm not Pedro's trying to do this all the time or anything. <laughs> <laughs> you do have to take breaks. Yeah. I think... Integrate being, a little bit. Being just like... Sober is its own. I exerted myself a too. lot, so got that garden shaped up. It's, I'm ahead of I'm ahead of the schedule on the garden now, so can Good. relax. Yeah, just a little bit more to go. You've got skills. Thanks. I I liked your auto water setup that I saw oh, you do bro. before. I really want to get to that level on my rain barrels. It's really easy. where I can just. Flip it on barrels. every day, and it's oh, you all can do it. automatic. You can do it. There's a little computer. It costs like forty dollars or something. Yeah, that's all. What you said before it was only forty bucks. I was, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh. you can get a four-way splitter, and it might be maybe a hundred and thirty or something. I don't know. That'll that'll have four separate programmable zones and stuff, so you could do your whole yard. Different plants need different amounts of water, all that stuff. We could, it could get really advanced for sure. Well, if you just, like, one sprinkler will only cover a certain amount of area, mainly. I was thinking, like, I'm gonna hang go stuff from ab above them, like, make, like, oh, that'd be cool. like a bridge. Yeah, like, have, cool. like, poles, strong poles no, that I'm can hold it up, um, and then you just do panel. it above everything I'm gonna and make it, like, actually up. rain. These beans that are, are pole beans, I, I planted them earlier, but I'm going to have them on a cattle panel that's like five feet tall in the back of this thing in the front. Hell yeah. Yeah. And I, I have okra cookies. and like tomatoes and stuff. I have these huge tomato cages that are like eight, eight feet tall. Damn. You got tomato seeds? That I grow? made them myself out of cattle panels, huh? You got your own seeds going? Not yet, but... I would love to grow a lot of everything. Honestly, I love okra. Easy. Just start with sprouts. Yeah, you can do that in your apartment. True. You can even I miss carry growing meat. stuff since I've been living in the city. Why? You just have to remember twice a day to rinse them. That's it. That's literally the only thing you have to do. In the morning and at night. Otherwise, they can get like kind of moldy smell. Yeah, something. I've tried it before. Bacteria or something. Yeah, it gets kind of stinky, like a fart. I think they would probably do okay on the uh, fluoride water too. They're pretty hardy. Mm. <laughs> well, you can use uh, filtered water, you know, just have to get more. Not even that much for sprouts. It's not even that bad. That's what I would do. I'd be just, worth it. I would get filtered water from Mama Jeans. Yeah. Yeah. 
I think. I want to get like a carboy just delivered to my apartment. I want to get a new truck. Let's see. I want to get a fucking. A pull water and just carry it at the steps. Not Tundra, the smaller one, Tacoma. That's what I want. Those tan ones. You know, you want to hear a cool idea I had? Yeah. Establish a, a sovereign country, right? And then have your own police and military. And everyone will have equal rights, so that means they can do whatever they want. So I can put lights on my car, drive around with a rifle and shit. So can you. I think everybody should be everything. Everyone should have be a voice. Everyone should be, like, helping keep peace. You have radio, and radios, guns, everything, you know. Computer. Everybody should have everything. Everyone should be yeah, equal. Do whatever you want. You wouldn't be contracted to do that or anything, so. No. I think, I mean, a society should just have shared values, you know, and then people mm-hmm. gravitate towards their tribe. Man, people abandon Why principles. Why can't people, like, live in they their... They abandon principles in the name of left-brain idiotic logic. I think it's a lot of just really fear-based yeah. actions that are extreme. People are afraid of losing something. So somehow, ironically, they hoard it all where the they too. make everyone else besides them feel that way. They, they, they get sucked into evil, and then they if they give up that, they lose everything. Mm-hmm. So they're attached to it. Just like the judge. You know, he's been a judge his whole life. I mean, what, else, what else is he going to do? It's a little too late to restart, you know. It's never too late. Right. If you only open your mind... Get out of that cult. Nothing is ever so stagnant that it's forever. I, the only f- really truly eternal thing is impermanence itself, in my opinion. You better start on it in this lifetime, is what I tell people. It's like if you're still in a bad place when you die, like, where do you think you're going? I'm not just gonna jump a hundred thousand timelines. <laughs> mm. I feel I feel like I've been doing is walking between a lot of timelines. Yeah. I mean, you're back in this area, so that's like a new timeline. It is. It yeah. feels way different. It's Good. way different country. You seem like you're doing better than last time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it it made me Got it realize what I like lost by walking away from this area. I have a lot of mm-hmm. friends and family here in Tri that's already been built up, and there we We're felt really alone. We're about to build alone. up super, super fucking extra good I think I have faith in all the people that I've met here and it's not by accident that we've met all the people that we've met here and made all the connections we've made with each other yeah, I mean, like we need to be I mean, moving the Ava forward area, I always felt like it was like a spiritual vortex it was yeah I don't know what you know is going on there with that that could have been like no, it'll be fine, the, an ideal land to build everything no, it'll be fine just get a different land. I love. You can it. always come back and buy it again from the owner. Yeah. You can always do that. High dollar. Yep. And figure out how to tap into all the straw man funds. We'll figure it out. I hope so. If I get to be a legal expert, I can do all the church paperwork and shit. And uh, Man Found Standing even told me that he wants me to do that. So. We can have, I'm not sure I trust him. Yeah, well, see, if I'm a legal expert, then I can over re- read over everything in the church and correct things, you know? Yeah. And do things that are better than the church, like the sovereign trust stuff. Because if you do the sovereign trust, everyone can read what their benefits are and if they have any responsibilities, what those are. But you can make it so they don't have any responsibilities. They only get benefits. And you take on all the responsibility. And they, you know, there's a contract that lasts for a certain amount of time, and then everyone has to choose whether or not it's going to renew the contract. But I think that might be up to the trustees, which is the one who's writing the contract. So they can literally make it do anything. It's like a, it's like a programming language, but you want to program it for ideal freedom, you know, so it's not tying people down. I feel that. Yeah. <sighs> To be real with you, I've been feeling like an old, old person. An old person. Well, you gotta. Feeling like 
really beat up. Please. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I got murdered last year, so it hurt. Sore. <laughs> It was like almost two years ago now, maybe 20 months ago <laughs> that it started. Uh -huh. Yeah. Feels like forever ago now though. Yeah. It's like, I really have made a lot of progress. So. Okay. I'm trying to convert the trauma into uh, motivation. It's kind of what I'm doing in healing, you know? So it's pushing me to um, learn all these new things. It's really pushing me hard, extra, so so hard, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling even the tribulation is always ushering us toward closer to Yeah, watch the out for the mark of the beast. Of everything. What did you say? I said watch out for the mark of the beast. Mark oh. of the beast implants on the gums of an infant. I always thought the mark of the beast, if there was one, would be money itself. Yep, that's it. And the agreement to play the game of yep. slavery. There's, there's actually tons of marks of the beast. There's tons of them. Social security number, driver's license. Yeah. Just marking you as a cow. I agree. And they keep track of you and keep you in a pen. Because mm -hmm. you're just too stupid. You're just too dumb because you're a fucking dumb cow. Who eats other cows. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, what goes around comes around. Don't eat the cows if you don't want to be a cow. I got this new lens on the camera. It's yeah. A, it's a wide angle lens. It's capturing the whole room. I like that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like really wide. Yeah. So it's perfect for this setup here. Oh, cool. Yeah. You don't have to worry about everyone being in the frame. Right. That's cool. It's like a fish eye, but more like a pano. Not a fish mm -hmm. eye. See, Yusuf El is saying it's all about just being independent and being like free and stuff. Yeah. But you want to be independent, you know. I feel like, I don't know, when I hear the word independent, I, a lot of, think a lot of people misinterpret that as, <laughs> as like, honestly, more of a toxic individualism. Yeah. I know what you mean. They're like, they're being phony about it. Yeah. They pretend like they're fucking that way, but they're actually not. Yeah. I just, I feel like there's a level of, like, independence in community, the true independence, though, like, not... Not just like everyone doing their own fucking thing because everyone's too so guarded well, and traumatized and, from and people conquer. getting screwed over and shit. That's divide and conquer. Just even this last community I went to, I got screwed over fucking again. Yeah, like got every single over again, intentional right. community I've tried, and it's you been, gotta keep your eyes on the back of your head, you know. There's always like a power structure. It's, it's makes it to where everyone's not equals. You gotta get out of their jurisdiction is the thing, and then they have no power over you. Everyone has to act as equals, and that's why you mm -hmm. really have to find your tribe of, like, people who understand the same values and, like, really want the same things. Mm -hmm. You know? And, no, not, we're and not everyone that. can love the, and want the same things, you know? Eh, we're finding it. But, you know, what you can do, though, is when you identify someone who's just incompatible with you. Right. And sometimes they'll be insulting and mean. Then I'm just like, all right, well, I don't have time for that, so. <laughs> yeah. I have a way of, like, just feeling feeling out a situation pretty quickly anymore because I've just went through so many different experiences of getting exploited or just bullshit, plain bullshit. Energy robbery. Man. Where red flags go off relatively quickly in the first day or two. Vampires. And pa you know, what do they call them? Parasitic psychic vampires. And they're just trying to use you up. 
That's why the land's got to be set up to where no one can, can just, like, make another person d- leave, like, on some bullshit. You know what I mean? Yeah, the only way you'd be able to do that in this trust thing like, is if you violated some agreement, you know? Right. Then you'd write rules and say, well, you violated the agreement. You murdered someone, for example. Very definite reasons for expulsion. Yeah. And then, like, people all come together to vote about it, which means everyone has to be able to show up and have a voice. If, if people can't be accountable and they check out, you can and write don't it so show they can. And... There's he was saying there's these legal problems because uh, if you give beneficiaries the same power as you, it stops being a private trust and it's some other corporation, and then it completely screws up your whole contract. That's what he said. And then you can you can get sued for billions of dollars, and. If you do, if you sign papers wrong, um, they'll hold you personally liable, but they they really can't if you status correct and everything because you're now in the private, and uh, your trust can own everything and have no you you will have you they won't even know who you are. The trust will take on all the liability, and so you know you can funnel money into the trust, and then put it in all these crypto wallets, and even the trust will look like it's not even that rich. But it doesn't have to pay taxes on anything. You can go to the car dealership and get as many cars as it wants, tax free. <laughs> yeah, it was like the Roth Rothschilds that were a part part of this Rockefellers, with their banking cartels and stuff. They were doing this shit like a, a hundred years ago. Yeah. Buying up everything and putting it in these tax free exempt fucking private organizations and then you can't tell who owns it so it's just some trust and you have no idea who owns it and that's how they keep privacy Mm. i think in some regard the only thing that makes any of these things real these fucking pieces of paper real and everything else in between like is just we agree to them we continue to play the game of them Mm. that's right we don't actually need any of that shit Mm -hmm. like even if we had a piece of paper that you know like when, sometimes I, I think of it this way, because, like, even if we had the Constitution, and we had it all set up, all the ideal things, and, like, they just took advantage ideas, of and, and, and all, all the boundaries, and all the things, and everyone's like, yes, you know, like, it doesn't mean that, like, some outside force can't come in and try and contest that, you know? Yeah. It's always going to be that way. It doesn't, like, a piece of paper isn't going to really truly protect that the people who are involved are as a collective. Like, that's the only thing that can protect that. Really. In my opinion. I mean, I... I mean, like I said before, I don't, I don't see, like, it's, like, completely invaluable to, like, set it up as, like, a land trust and all those things. But, like, at the end of the day, like, that's still, like, paper. It's still playing the freaking game. You know? Yeah. I'm, I like, mean, still you change the way people writing think notes first. inside their system. You have to change the way people think. And then it can all be torn down. And then you can just put it in the history book and let someone else figure it out. Yeah, honestly, that's that's the most important thing. Is just like mo- moving the like and expressing in a way that like shows others that they can be free too. And it's a, changing the way that they see and the way that like they feel in their own bodies and like all of that, like more fully embodied. Like I don't have to make this agreement with any of this shit. Yeah completely nullify it if everyone if everyone's did that and like that part of their mind shifted like There's there would be no grip all that paper would mean nothing it wouldn't matter how how like they send some bullshit in the mail you owe this much money like no i'm a sovereign like and i am in a collective of infinitely other people's sovereign like but like how can you communicate these these like thoughts to the like on the masses like we really need to be until we have uh, like an uncentralized internet yeah that fuck yeah we could like talk to our friends more efficiently like people will actually see your fucking thing like a social media but like for real like i, I hate to say that I, it's almost such like a it's poison fully... in my mouth to roll off my tongue but like mm. that's the what gate, we need we need to be able to forum like the telecom companies and stuff telecom industry they're the gatekeepers and they're charging everyone fake fiat dollars for internet and stuff. Man, I'm standing at a great idea. It's like, we're going to dig our own fiber optic pipes and we'll just have our own internet. 
private. And we, we'll hire people who used to work at Comcast or something, and then they'll fix it all up. Got to keep just taking it one stone at a time. And we'll move them out eventually. Yeah. I'm glad that you're in touch with that kind of movement happening because I'd like to learn more about that. Send me some of the information. Yeah, check out onegreatworknetwork.com. That's the, the main hub. One great... One great work network. Uh, one great work network, okay. Dot com. Okay. That's Mark Passio's brainchild. Like, is do they already have, like, functional, I'm on there. Yeah, functional yeah, 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 yeah. devices that are working? Like, Oh, I, I mean, that Coral project, they were... I don't know if they fully built yet, but... They were working on it. Because if they can produce that technology, it's like all about crowdfunding at this point and getting them producing more. Yeah, it'll be great because you can just turn your little internet on at anywhere on the earth and then uh, send money through pirate chain and it'll go through a black hole and vanish into thin air and then come out in someone else's wallet. No one will know where it went. And they don't know or where it you, came from. Yeah, or where it came from. It's like completely private to the max. So you could send a billion dollars to some... Nobody would know where it went. I mean, again, with your trust, you know, if you start racking in a whole bunch of money and stuff, it just disappeared. I don't know what happened. But as far as the value of everything, like, you know, huh? who decides these yeah, it's units fake. of value? It's all fake. Even the crypto's fake. Even if it's crypto, yeah, it's, it's like, fucking fake. You know, and 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 is like, it's all about what, you, what these technologies it, really like fortified like longevity. Anyways, like how fragile is the system? Oh, it's, of that? it's, it's solid, dude. Blockchain's bulletproof. Unless, unless they were to like use AI and then quantum computing and somehow hack it or something, but that's just Bitcoin. Some of these are bulletproof. Well, every, every can track crypto you on Bitcoin, currency though. has been hacked. Not Bitcoin. Like, Ethereum and shit gets hacked all the fucking time. I don't think they hack the fundamental code, though. It's just people who write bad smart contracts. <clears throat> they write their smart contract with bad code, and then it causes something bad to happen. Typically, I think. Huh. I've yeah. heard yeah, some Ethereum's other people fucking... talk about smart contracts and all the, like, the codes yeah. of like, creating... You're basically creating the encryption or something. Right, it's not that hard to learn either. But I don't know anything about that shit. I read it all just seems kind of risky to me. Like, yeah, for sure, bro. I mean, I I think I'm kind of more not, leaning towards a resource based a economy. I could grow like actual well, yeah, physical, that, tangible dude. silk. That's where the real wealth is, for example, not fake and wealth. hand you a giant roll of fucking silk that could stop an arrow. Produce your own shit. That's I'm for the Mongolian warriors back in the day, and that's an actual resource that you can trade for another resource like that is cannabis, real. For example, when we're talking about money and receipts and agreements and uh, trusts and all this other shit, it's just paper. It's, yeah, or people digits. could still fucking it's pull a trigger digits. on your ass and, oh, yeah. and t- or black sack you that's and take I over your all fucking my credit land at any on useful moment. Shit. It means nothing. I spent all my credit on useful shit because I was like, I need that, 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 and then and I was like, this is gonna pay off hard you know but I, I i could stay at this house for a while and i have friends who will just drive me to the store and buy me shit so you know if it gets that bad but I have to trade them for microgreens or something <laughs> i didn't know why dude that's fucking pretty good thought right there yeah i've been trading people that people give me like ten dollars for sprouts and stuff that's awesome yeah. That's a tangible business right there. It is. Actually, if you figure out the numbers on that to make it like I've equitable been making, and like honorable and everything, that would making, be a fucking thing. I would be, be be able to want to get behind too. You'd want to do it private trust again. If you're gonna <laughs> make money that way, or just accept crypto. We need community businesses crypto, if we ever want to buy like a fucking Brown's Cave property or some other shit on a river with spring on it. Like, yeah, we're gonna need like. A chunk. A fat chunk. Oh, we'll get a fat chunk. 
I want to figure out how to do it. I want to learn more about this stupid ass money game because it's fucking pissing me off. Well, you can sign in on my bro uh, Yosef L course, and then you can learn as much as you need to know. And then you'll be like fucking smart, you know. It's it's I've only, I only started it like I started listening to him on YouTube, and uh, he was just seemed like he knew what he's talking about. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He even goes into the court. He's been there many times. I mean, he'll go in there and boss the whole fucking place around. Say, so you work for me. What what uh, jurisdiction are we in? Admiralty or common law? And then they won't answer because they're afraid. And then he's like, write down on the record that they didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll like try to get the judge into a trust and then sell it on the fucking bond market for millions of dollars and shit. And then the judge fucks up and then he gets, I don't know. I don't know what happens after that, but... It's weird, bro. It's so, fucking weird. The weirdest game ever. Yeah. It's like insane, like, clown M- monopoly. M- mental gymnastics. Yeah. Well, if you knew how that compares to programming a computer, that fucking... I'm telling you that law stuff is fucking cake shit compared to programming a computer. True that? Yeah. Honestly... Getting into law and like being a real ass truthful person probably could be virtuous, but it would be stressful as fuck. Well, it just prevents you from ever being sabotaged or attacked by the government. That's that's the advantage. They can't sabotage or attack you. They they have no ability to even enter your property. Even that would be fascinating. Yeah. Put walls up around it. This, this, the trust is the best commerce token. I feel like there would be a lot of like backlash though from no. the enemy because they'd be in law. Like, well, they they, be... they already have all of their friends are private, so they're used to this. At the higher levels, they know all about this. That's how mm. John D. Rockefeller and fucking you know Rothschilds did everything. So it's not anything new. It's it's just true that yeah. Murdered by the hands of John D. Rockefeller. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the Rockefellers. They're parasites. Yeah, bro. They're straight demons. Fucker if I ever seen one. Huh? Is that a fucker if I ever seen one? Who? <laughs> the Rockefellers. Oh, shit. The Bilderberg Group. Yeah, you'll never find them because all their land is private. You're going to have to change the entire world to catch those motherfuckers. Pretty much. Yeah. You have to hunt them fucking down. <clears throat> they probably have these underground military labs and shit. Easily. My lab. Easily. Like Resident Evil. Exactly like that. Mm-hmm. I never played Resident Evil. Oh, it's fucking crazy. I only it was seen one of the my movie where games. she's. It's like a girl in the fucking I, desert. For, on for a solid year, I felt like I was a character in the game Resident Evil. In both Resident Evil 1 and 4. I felt like I was Leon, and then I felt like I was... Yeah. And I felt like I was in that fucking game. And my mom even looked like a character in the game, like a cult member with like a black robe and shit. It was, it was fucking creepy. Yeah. Real. And I was... That, that was like, I gotta get out of this. Or Left for Dead. I'm in Left for Dead. And then I have to get out of the city as the first fucking level. And then I got to the country, and I was like, oh, I graduated. Made it all there. Well, now we're fine. And I got killed, and then and then re- reincarnated right back in the city. <laughs> now I have to get out again. I feel that, dude. Yeah. That's like what's going on right now. Yeah. It's like, why am I here? Why are we all stuck here of all places? It sucks ass. Mm-hmm. I'm learning the divine powers, though. I really am. Because that's the only thing that's going to work. It's the only thing that's going to fix me up. 
So I have to learn it, you know? Fair. Yeah. I agree. Magic is a foot being used against us as well. I think uh, the mind is kind of like a door to, like, in a ways with, like, other entities because oh, yeah. not all thoughts are ours. That's why, that's why they make They'd all be those... be seeding our subconscious and shit. That's why they make all those horror movies to put demons in people's heads. Exactly. There's so much fucking propaganda. It's I was everywhere. one of those horror movies. I was... I'm still... I still see the demon from the horror movie. Like, the the ring and the grudge and shit. Mm-hmm. You know? But I, I released all fear of it, and I'm not, like, letting it fuck with me or anything. I pretty much just kick it out of the house. I'm like, get out of this fucking place. You're not, you don't belong here. Mm-hmm. One time, this grudge witch moved into my house. It was a interdimensional, like, ghost or something mm-hmm. at, in Little Rock. And it, I just let it live in this corner room. It was like a bedroom. I let it live in there for probably a, yeah, over a year at least. I don't know how long I let it live in there. And then my friend, shaman in the church, Jed, who lived in Little Rock when I started meeting him, I invited him to the church. He uh, came over one day and we were doing San Pedro. And we had this amazing trip in the Frisbee golf course in the back um, behind my house. And, uh, and we came back and I walked down the hall to my bedroom and I never told Jill, um, Jed this. Never fucking once mentioned this. And I walked down to the to the hall to go to the bathroom on the right, past that door with a grudge. And he's kind of following me. And I go into the bathroom, and the door was open. And he saw a, a witch's hand co- come out of the door, like a in his third eye, like a ghostly witch's hand, <clears throat> and reach at me as my hair was like going by. And then he kicks the door open. To that room and the, the lights were off he flips flips the lights on kicks the door open starts doing this shamanic chant really loud this ra- rally graspy voice and then he and then he was like nathan there's a witch in here and he told me it went under the bed the fuck right mm. it came from the salvia dimension is where the witch came from you had a vision of the oh witch? she lived there for years dude i was afraid she was going to come over here but then i was like no we're not having that yeah, yeah. Set up the wall. The ferment. Didn't ever hurt me, though. It was just some creepy fucking ghost that lived in the fucking back room. I knew it couldn't hurt me. I was just like, well, I wasn't that fucking afraid of it, really. Yeah, it was but just, that's a just little, kind of annoying. It was slightly creepy. Yeah. Yeah. My mom would have, my mom's house earlier this year had shit like that in it. It was I, I was stuck over there after dying and shit. And they definitely had some ghosts in that fucking house. Mm. I would hear them um, in my third ear, I guess, or even in my physical ears almost. So I'd play guitar in the basement and stuff in this room with the doors closed. And then I would swear I heard a fucking voice or something. I've had ghosts talk to me like that. These people, weren't, when I was on land before, um, on the St. Francis River, there was these uh, people who died in the uh, trailer, like on the land adjacent to ours. It was like all overgrown over it. And me and my dad went sniffing around over there, just like exploring and saw it and everything. And... Uh, Ever since we went in there, like, the people who were in there were definitely fucking, like, trailing us for a while and, like, talking to us because we both could fucking hear, like, weird shit. (laughs) People whispering and, like, saying weird shit to us. Like, in our cabin, it was kind of fucked up. Had to do a lot of sage (laughs) cleansing. (laughs) But, yeah, ghosts are for real. When I worked underground here in Springfield, dude, there was fucking ghosts down there. Bro, he also was saying he used to work at the hospital where people die all the time and get killed and shit. Mm-hmm. And uh, he said he saw their souls leaving their bodies and there's all kind of things over there. Where they put me. Twice. Bro, that was the scariest fucking experience. 
I went to the ICU, it was like absolutely fucking terrifying, bro. I did not think I was going to survive it. I've been there, bro. I've been there, I know. It's like literally purgatory. It's like it was hell. I was in hell. It was worse than pur purgatory. Absolutely. It was absolutely a demonic realm, for yeah. sure. And, and its just, only purpose is to suppress magical human beings and, like, strip their soul from them and make them forget their souls. I gotta tell you about this trip, bro. To the fucking ICU. The worst trip possible. The only bad trip I've ever fucking had. Somebody like somebody give me an idea of having the party pallet. I think it's a fucking solid plan. Oh, got some text. Got a new homie from fucking Africa. Mm -hmm. Nice anarchist African wants to be free. Just like me. It's gonna help me uh, create some dank ass content. Yeah, man, good thing I'm a fucking computer fucking wizard. <laughs> That's the only redeeming factor of grad school. Computer wizard. I'll take it. Hey, uh, I'm wondering if you guys heard about Andrew Tate. You ever heard of him? No. Oh, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Andrew Tate, he's impressing me. I kind of like him. I kind of think he might be smarter than uh, I thought at first. Yeah, I think he recently got arrested because <laughs> the, the Matrix was targeting him. Wow. You ever heard of Andrew Tate? Who? Andrew Tate. Uh, he's famous now. He's this like alpha male guy that uh, the government just arrested. And some government in some other country just arrested him. But he, he just teaches people how to be super good at things. No, and, I don't think I know who that is. Well, well do you, it doesn't matter. It's no big deal. It's just wondering. Yeah, I teach all those um, people who watch my show how to be sovereign alpha males and alpha females. Hmm. I felt like that was some solid advice. It is. You can watch it sometime if you want. It'll help you. I need to. Yeah. You know, the only weird thing about the rape is it, it always says the word rape on it, but it's got a little apostrophe. <laughs> <laughs> that was a solid fucking day. I t when I started last night, I told everyone I wasn't going to sleep all night and I was going to finish the garden before fucking to by today, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Did you get it done? Oh, most of the way. Like I said, I got ahead. I got ahead of the curve on it. So, 
I should be safe. Try the back roller. I'm about to. I'll show you a technique on it. I had this fucking crazy podcast where I did all night healing. And, it, and it, I was more traumatized than I am now. It, it helped a little bit. But uh, I had a podcast the next day at like 6 p.m. And I just, I just wrote it all the way through to the end of the day. And I was going hard. I, I even think I puked. I don't remember. On the back roller? No, doing medicine all night. I had that skull crystal grid, you know, set up and stuff. Looks powerful. Yeah. Play with the shield and everything. Yeah. That's why we're safe in here. Mm -hmm. This is like a different dimension. It feels that way. Yeah. It feels honestly so much better than where we were. Yep. Oh. Ooh. Did you hear that? Yeah. There's a line and some shit. See, um, that's how it helps you, you know. Ooh. I might have to hit the Sonanga. Might be time. Get on that back roller. Let me know when you're ready for it. Oh, I can do it. I got it. All right, you might do the, do my nose so whenever you're ready. Oh, are you ready? I didn't know you were waiting for me. Right. Sometimes it's nice to have a friend around. It does make you feel a little more safe. Yeah. I feel that. Yeah, I feel we a little. I feel too, a little man. happier right right now than I was earlier. Honestly, when we were on our way back, we're like, we should go hang out with Nathan. No, oh, thanks. Yeah, thanks for thinking about me. Of course. Thanks for being here for us. Too. Mm -hmm. nice. I like this big thicken of a back corner. Right? It's good shit. Ow! <laughs> Ooh. Did you hear that? Oh, that was a fan. Oh, right, you're back? Please. Yeah. That was like one of those ones where as you're like about to sink into it, you know it's going to hurt really bad because you feel the pressure build up like right where the knot is. Yeah, dude. Like, no. It hurts. Right? Well, it took joke. me like three attempts to even feel it. It fucking hurts, bro. It's, it's so much pain back there, too. It is. It's a lot of fucking pain. I it just cool. concentrates back there. Every time you fucking use those, I don't know. You get, you gotta get it into alignment. I think. Oh. Hey,
sky yeah. Earth my body my blood in my breath in fire my spirit I'm so glad I went to all those fucking ceremonies bro back in the day yeah I tried to not miss any I missed like one that was some of the best shadow work available honestly it was at the time a very, very moving thing for, I think, yeah, everybody so. in the communities all around, and I'll remember them forever. Like, but I feel betrayed by that whole situation in the end. I, it brings me a lot of pain that it's it would have been nice if not it what they out. portrayed it was supposed to become. If it, if it would have worked out, it would have been nice, wouldn't it? Would have been fucking fire, dude. It still could. Oh, it still can. We're gonna We're going to do it. See, uh, I, I can do private ceremonies, and uh, you can just start coming to those. Okay. Yeah. We can make it happen wherever we can for now. Yeah. Well, we're doing it at uh, Ryan Goolsby's house. Okay. Yeah. Is he still doing sweats? Oh, yeah. He's still doing sweats. I'm proud of him for staying on that for so long. Oh, yeah, man. He's, he's pretty solid. <sighs> I, I like him. Is he still using the same volcanic stone? I don't know. <laughs> or did he have to get a new one? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. The stone's used for the sweat. You know, whenever you catch up with the old friends, it's kind of like just picking up where you left off. Ooh. I feel like fucking Kenny Powers. Damn. Damn, homie. Oh! Wow. Did you hear that? Yeah. Fucking heard that. Wow. I'm gonna try to fill up like a 20 terabyte hard drive full of videos. Do it. Yep. 20 terabytes? 20 terabytes. Just to challenge oneself? No, just because I, I know I will at some point. It's really handy because you know we're two people in the room, so we just get both of us at the same time. Yeah, makes sense. Two guys, one mic. Is this teeth bait ready to go? Did you put anything in it? Um. Oh, I put some in there. Just trying to be the cameraman. Just ignore me. <laughs> hey guys, so uh, I show happens to be a divine androgen too. It's not just me. Oh yeah. I don't I've never know. heard that Andrew thing, but I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely androge. Did I get you? <laughs> was that one a mild one? That was like, a mild one, bro. Yeah. He yeah. <laughs> <You> just smiled. <laughs> that was good, though. Was it like a mint one or something? No, it was, I don't know. What was it was Oh, man, my back needs love. Hey, man, what better social proof than two friends? For real, though. True that. This 
Small tribes is where it's at. Mm-hmm. Small tribes is where it's at. Mm-hmm. Keep your friends close. And your enemies super far away. No enemies. You ready to go get a hot shower or two? If you want to. Look it down there. Just make it shake it down. That one's definitely Kundalini Awakener. Which one was that? That one we just did. I think it was the feminine one. That was, I just got a wave of Kundalini on my spine when I did that. This, it wasn't a mix? Um, just the feminine? I think it was the feminine one. Oh. You, you got it really deep in my throat. <laughs> I, 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 I go. Right. Kind of like a blue dart. If you want, you can massage me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I will. This ball is a little bit hard. You know what I mean? Oh, you use it to roll? I put it on sore spots sometimes. It's not as good as... That is one really good reason to get a stone of spear. Yeah. They're not that fucking uh, expensive. This one works really well. Ooh. It's also good for warding off negative ETs. What is it? It's a pyrite. Oh, fool's gold? It's got iron in it, huh? Fool's gold? Is pirate fool's gold? Mm-hmm. Find a sore spot anywhere. Pop my back where I was working. <sighs> yeah, if you put the spear in your muscle, mm-hmm. really do a great self massage that way. Oh, wow. I felt something go in my hip. That was great. Got to work it to get the the healing, you know. Yeah. That ain't a lie. That was so funny, dude. That whole fucking New Haven thing. It was literally the best time of my fucking life. Except we for will, now, that we, was pretty good too. We will have many, many more. 
Yeah, that was pretty good. I'm on one great work network now. That's a whole new chapter. We could also gather and do it in national forests, you know, too. Oh, uh, they're owned by the government. It's a problem. We'll, we'll figure it out, though. They don't have to know when and where. That's why crypto communication. Yeah, as long as you just don't get in trouble, you'll be fine. I just don't like order followers. They're really bad at the fucking parks. And who knows when they change the rules. They could get really vicious. I, uh... I heard on Bro Yosef's or Yusuf L's class that uh, the court system was kind of like McDonald's, and they even had this predatory dealership, car dealership. That uh, this guy, this poor sap, he was this black guy, and he thinks they were racist, but he walks in there and he's the the uh, owner is just being extremely pushy, trying to get him to sign this contract immediately. He's like, I don't know, I don't really want to, I don't really, I, don't, I just don't know. And he's like, no, we'll get you at the finances, you'll get your car, just sign here. And so he signs it, and then within like a minute of him signing it, a bunch of cops walk in and arrest him. What and the he, fuck? And he goes to jail. What the fuck? Yeah, he did something illegal by signing it. What the hell? Yeah, and they said, and they, he said this this thing was doing it over and over again to people. They were just sucking a bunch of people into jail. What the fuck? There's, there's a car dealership. That's fucking weird. Yeah. Just they didn't read the contract. Um. Well, no, he wasn't like smart at that. The, the reason he learned is because that happened. I could sit on a ball for like hours and do this. And your back will be sore as fuck the next day. But like. You really realign some oh, shit. I'm recovering, dude. This is like the, the last couple of hours of ceremony. I'm finally coming down. I'm, I'm in my safe space, though. So don't even have to drive. Yeah. Yeah. That's the way it should be. I used to have to fucking drive back. It was terrible. It was it was a tough journey driving home. I always thought it was funny leaving the cinema and seeing like all the people at fucking Sonic right there. And yeah, right. It's like you're going out of like, magical yeah, world. Like, did you not learn from all the puking you did last night? I don't really. Yeah, some people they just don't learn. Some of them just don't listen. Taught you nothing. You just don't learn sometimes. I don't know what it is. Not my path. I'm just going to safety and justice. That's where I'm going. I like those things too. Those are good virtues. People should be that... free to express as long as they're not hurting anybody else. I heard that, or I, I learned that whenever someone does something evil to you and you're innocent, it can be transmuted into a sacred gift. But only if you're innocent. Because, I don't know. That's what the government did. They came and threatened me about my farm and shit, and I was like... I realized today, I was like, you know, they're only helping me just build it faster and get it planted so I can get more money. Because now they're now I have to finish it by fucking two days. Which means I busted fucking ass. <sighs> Fuck yeah. I love working for the right kind of work. It brings me joy to, like, work my body hard. I just want to do it in the right places. I don't want to waste my energy. For sure. Wasting my energy offends me because I, I feel like, you know, in this lifetime I only have so much energy before I have to return to my simple substrates to 
you know yeah reanimate the earth again so I don't want to like waste a moment really mm-hmm Especially with all the yoga and all the re- alignment you have to do after working hard yeah, to make gotta, it happen. Oh, yeah, I do it while I'm working. I'll just do a stretch because it's got it. And then I'll do the fucking roller. <sighs> just making our own TV programming. Yeah. <laughs> Just hang out with us. Do some yoga. Shaman TV. <laughs> everyone I mean, everyone is their own healer. My body cam footage I made last night at the garden. I'm going to put stream that on Twitch for, for weeks on end. It'll just be like a 8 to 10 hour video on repeat of me building a garden in one night. <laughs> Do it. Yeah, I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, even if it's just a tiny garden. It's still valid. That's some good content. Did all this magical shit in the video too. Just crazy shit. Only fans, but it's me well, <laughs> working that. strenuous hours a day to like right. build sustainable farms and transcend the monetary system. Right. <laughs> Farming. Anarchist green style. Gorilla gardening, just like planting like a tree, like really political places, just for the walls. <sighs> Call me all Johnny Apple. I was thinking if they would just plant trees over by all the apartment complexes and all the streets. Why don't we just buy our own community helicopter and just start throwing seeds all over the place? I'm I thought of a good one. from the sky. Here's what you do: <laughs> you get a, you build your own machine guns, right? And, and then, then put you, all the bullets no, with seeds. You make organite bullets, and then you shoot them into the earth. What? Yeah. What? Like a, you want like some Atlantean shit? <laughs> what? Why would the organite do? It'll go in the earth and, and charge all the plants. Yeah, like crystals. Yeah, make them grow faster. That ain't no lie. Like just I just draw I, I, circles around the plants. That's why I threw a bunch of crystals of in the garden. I even put a <laughs> shungite pyramid in there. I need to put an organite Start in the Start doing garden. like sacred geometry like around your whole farm. Just like no, shooting doing a bunch it, of like crystal grids into the earth. You gotta see the body cam footage. I was doing that all night. I threw a, a pretty good sized crystal right in the middle of it. With a tensor ring, a shungite pyramid underneath it. And then I did this magic spell where they put that threatening letter in it. And then I took it out of the sign on the body cam, put it in the middle of the garden, got a ninja sword, and stabbed it in the heart. What? And then burnt it. I love that so fucking much. That's my kind of magic. If swords aren't involved, there's something wrong. It was just ending that relationship to the government. I like to use cell and knives for cutting... Oh wait, shit. Crystal knives are powerful. Oh, I got a big selenite sword. A sword? Yeah, it's like a machete. What? And I put it on my um, legal protection grid in there. So it's got an organite gun that I made. An organite handgun. What? And a selenite sword. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. But for Ozark, you ain't wrong about shooting crystal grids. Like drawing little crystal grids. Oh, you know what I did in the right. video too? I, I would throw... They have shotgun quartz. shells with, put with seeds in them. Oh, fuck yeah. Did you know that? Uh. You could literally shotgun blast gardens into your yard if you had organite in there too though <laughs> instead of lead you want organite i don't you do lead organite gunpowder i bought lead powder to make lead organite mixed with other metals i'm afraid it might poison something mm. yeah <laughs> yeah i don't want to shoot lead i fuck up your water table right for real you don't want lead in your water hell no keep lead away too much fucking density. Yeah. (laughs) 
Yeah, I had my crit, my big lasers, self defense lasers, and I was programming all the quartz chips I threw into the. I put them in layers. I throw shungite and quartz powder. And just sprinkle it like seeds over the whole bed, and then I would shoot the lasers at it, and put like healing intentions into it. That's awesome. Right. Shooting the crystal, shooting a laser through the crystal. Well, like a bunch of shards, and just sprinkle them out on top of the leaves and stuff in layers in that bed, starting with the bottom layer, which is wood. So that whole thing's got a crystal grid in it. The whole thing is a crystal grid. Put it on the berm. And it grows food at the same time. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I one like of, that. One of the ultimate crystal grids, right? Yeah, why not why not put all the elements together? Feng Shui, crystal grid, sigil magic. Unite all the things. Yeah, I'm gonna bring the camera to all my ceremonies and stuff and just put, put them all on bit shoot, dude. Fuck it. Yeah. You know that movie Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? Yeah. You know, I guess all bent bent out. Huh? You know, he gets all bent out. Yeah, or he's like spinning. Yeah, the the plant medicine path is not really like that because it's just high vibe stuff, and you're not like damaging yourself. Yeah, in the movie, he takes peyote, I think, in capsules or something. He takes mescaline. few of that guy's books really yeah yeah i read the fear and loathing in las vegas i didn't know he wrote a book oh he wrote like 10 or 20 oh weird yeah i have a few are they interesting oh yeah they're good good shit one of them is called hell's angels he gets involved with this biker gang <laughs> he ends up getting beat up Hell's Angels is a real biker king. Yeah, and then he has one where he's trying to get someone elected over someone else. <laughs> Not really my favorite, but it was an interesting look, I guess. Exciting in its own way. Yeah, you have this one that they made a movie out of, but the movie didn't have the same ending. In the book, the girl gets raped and stuff, and she disappears. I don't remember. That's kind of what happens in the movie. I don't remember. They just vaguely reshaped it, the, the chronological order or some shit. I don't know. It's been a while. That was back in Little Rock, which was only like six years ago, maybe seven. But it feels like forever ago. This part of my back that wants to pop so fucking bad. Yeah, I mean, I can push on it. I don't know if that'd help. Probably, yes. I can do that for you. Okay. My, my buddy Hamza, he fucking does it so good. I just can't I believe can, how good he fucking I can do you too. My back. He, he did it way better than you. Right. He was like punching it really hard. I was thinking he'd just go all the way down. Whenever you guys leave, I might play some guitar. Hell yeah. Not, I mean, I'm just, just not rushing you or anything. Oh. Uh, you can take us back relatively soon if you want. Yeah, whenever you want. It's up to you. She's ready to go to take a shower, I think. We did our at um... We did? Yeah. Oh, whoa. Yeah. And that whole, that whole place was a vortex of... 
sapping our fucking energy for real. Well, sorry. We had to go to buy a fucking blanket. There wasn't really any. It was damn Satanists. <laughs> <laughs> fucking everywhere, bro. Is that helping? Yeah, you can press super fucking hard. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of how I am. On like both sides of my spine at the same time. Yep. And just all your weight. You ain't gonna hurt me. Is that good? Yeah. For you can press like boom, but punch it. You can jump up and down like press hard. Otherwise, it won't pop it. Just you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, you press your your palm, the palms of your heels in on both sides of my spine. And boom. Okay. I'm kind of gentle. I like to let it. I don't know. I could do this to you for an hour. Even just the subtle weight feels good, but yeah. Is it not hard enough? So you can lean harder. Oh well, yeah. You can just press as hard as you feel comfortable to. I don't. Get, okay. And just just relax into it. Right in there, when it starts to get to that part of my back is when the pressure builds up and I feel like it wants to pop slightly lower than that is where the pressure builds up the highest. Yeah, right in there. You can, I'm sure you can feel the difference. Oh, yeah, dude. It's tight right there. Is that where it's hurting? Yeah. Yeah. I can feel it vibrating. Yeah, it's like right on the cusp. It's like really wants to pop so bad. Or maybe not. Maybe it's bad for I don't know, but it's just how about that? Yeah, it's perfect. That's kind of where I'm fucking super tight too. I don't know what what it is about that place. It's right behind my heart is where I got fucking killed. But that whole area was really fucking sore. Like right here for me. Yeah. Yeah. And the back strap. It's not as bad on the right side either. <sighs> the trauma from the heart, um, it released into all the muscles in the back and shit. And it was just a giant ball of fucking pain. You want me to get you for a second?
Mm. 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 Lay your arms flat. Oh, I just, I'll have to stretch until I'll have to ease into it. Oh, God. Oh, okay. you pop something. That's funny. Oh, not too hard. Okay. You don't necessarily need to focus on trying to pop it. Just like working out anxiety and stuff. Was it painful? Um, no, I've got this guard up. Around the back, you're getting back Yeah, popped. it's like all oh, my muscles are just flexed because they, they like don't want you to do it. <laughs> I know, it, it is scary as fuck. Might need to be more gentle. Okay. Yeah. It just is a protection mechanism. Let your guard down. I won't do it. not too hard, right? Oh, no, it's good. Okay. Could do a little harder. I felt something. Did you feel it crunchy right there? A little bit. I like went my whole life without ever getting any massages ever. You know, so it's just like years and years and years of fucking just build up. I feel that. So nobody, Same. nobody wants to give you a free massage. No. Most people not.
Thanks. You're welcome. That's dope. Thank you. Yeah, man, whenever you guys are ready, let me know. Probably relatively soonish. It's fucking creepy, bro. It's all creepy like that. It is. It's it's worse and worse and worse. Oh my it's god. Real. I wonder what kind of trafficking goes through there. Oh, it's For real. You know what? At the St. Louis bus station, that's the only bus station I've seen, like Greyhound station I've seen, that has a poster that talks about like stopping human trafficking. I was like, oh, I lived through that shit. Hmm. And it's like, people are always like, oh, uh, you, we would know if human trafficking is going on. I'm like, no, you don't. Anybody know. Unless you personally looked through it, or you know somebody that did. You don't know shit. You don't. And it's all. The human trafficking ring isn't even like a circle, it's a literally upside down story. The way they. The way they traffic victims, I, I discovered it's literally upside down story when you connect all the states together. Yeah, very demonic, satanic. Sounds pretty evil to me. I have a strong opinion about, you know, demons and hell, and I feel like I personally lived through a hell. Me too. And then once you come out of that, like. I actually went through a dimension when I was in hell. Yeah, so you get it. You've seen some. I almost went to a lower hell. Wow. Like I, I went to sleep, and then I was the next day. The entire room was different. Different. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. creepy. Yeah, but it had similarities. Yeah. Like it was a different Like deja vu kind of feeling like. Yeah. Like, oh, I've well, seen that before. But yeah, like this yesterday is not... I was in the same ICU room. Same number on the wall, but the room was totally different. That's and funny. it was trippier than when I went through the dimension. It was like creepily trippy. That is really trippy. Yeah. yeah. That would freak me. Ow, oh, I just went that to my knee. Yikes. That's not fun. It's like so all the way for you. I guess just like a week ago. What? They have these underground, like, city block size underground buildings that are designed to be murder and rape dungeons. I've seen it's like the movie Nightmare. Saw. Really? I've seen them in nightmares. Yeah. <sighs> this lady actually survived it. How'd she get away? 
I don't, I don't know exactly, but um, her family would bring her there. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? That's creepy. Mm -hmm. Our family? Yeah. That doesn't sound like much of a family to me. That happens a lot. Happens more than people realize. Yep, yeah, it's unfortunate for sure. Leo is home.